Hey everyone, it's Matt here and welcome to another episode of Toku Station and it has been a while. So, I do have an update video coming out within the next two weeks. The reason why is because we will be having clips from this episode, as always, up on our Toku Dragon channel. And the update will be talking about why things have been a little bit quiet and how we will be moving on with the channel in this upcoming year. So, also want to mention as well, thank you all so much for tuning in if you're listening in through our Podbean, which is those guys on the radio, or if you're watching on our Toku Dragon YouTube channel. Channel. Regardless, thank you all so much. So we're going to be talking about a lot of interesting uh, topics, some follow-ups as well in this episode. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can take a look here. So we're going to be talking about uh, two, actually technically three movies, two Kamen Rider movies as well as one Super Sentai film. Also talking about a Power Rangers con coming up. Also some Ultraman content coming to the Subadaya YouTube channel as well as some stuff regarding Kamen Rider Saber, a Kamen Rider video game. And also speaking of Kamen Rider, I mentioned actually the movie before, to be fair, so another Kamen Rider movie not related to uh, the stuff that's currently on the TV that's either coming out or that's already out. Also some indie tokusatsu news, which I find very interesting, and some other Ultraman-related stuff that will be streamed in the uh, in the somewhat near future. So a lot of cool stuff. Let's actually move on to our first story. This one will be rather short. So we're going to be talking about, and I talked about this a while back, talking about when the new Kamen Rider Zero One film and also the uh, Sentai Kira Major film will be coming out. I didn't know what was going to be happening there, but thankfully we have learned that when it comes to the Kamen Rider Zero One film, uh, it will. It seems as if it's going to be a continuation of the series, very much like Kamen Rider Decade was. Now when that happened, that's actually the first year I started watching Tokusatsu. And uh, if we're talking about the Japanese stuff here and not referring to stuff like Power Rangers, or um, or Beetleborgs or anything like that. So, yeah, that was the first year I watched me some Kamen Rider and some Super Sentai, and we get to the end of the series, and they say, watch the movie! And I am someone who's in America. And when they say go watch the movie, everyone, they say go to the theater in Japan. So, yeah, I was very happy about that. Uh, that was wonderful. Now, when it comes to this film, I'm keeping up with Zero One, uh, but either way, though, it will be coming out December 18th of this year. And uh, yeah, I don't know if, just like in the US, how it seems as if we're kind of fast tracking how things get onto streaming platforms or onto DVD and Blu ray. I don't know if there will be a way to access the film. I mean, heck, if, you know, if Shout had no problem having the, um, the Common Rider GO film, and yeah, it was a crossover film and it made sense to put out all those t shirts with it and whatnot. I talked about that, I believe, in the last episode of Togo Station. But still, if you did have that, I don't see why they wouldn't eventually want to have this on their streaming platform. That would be hilarious if they have this before having the show. But I, I, hey, look, they had this Geo movie, and technically none of us are supposed to know anything about Geo. So that was hilarious. So looking at, they even had the giveaway, which I, I don't believe I've won. I haven't gotten an email for that. But um, but it was still a pretty cool giveaway. So um, it was for Waz's um, uh, of Driver. So either way, talking about the, um, the first film, the Zero One film, now talking about the Kira Major film, interestingly enough, it seems to be coming out just spring 2021. So there's no specific date on that. Again, just spring 2021. Uh, some people are wondering about whether or not uh, if this is going to like, you know, end up uh, delaying some other crossover films or any other films, especially with Kamen Rider Saber coming up. And, you know, at this point, I'm just happy that these are coming out. Honestly, I think that there might be some restructuring going on. But I think that, you know, some people are worried about the films, uh, future films getting pushed back because of the fact that these films are only coming out now. Uh, but I think think people should be thinking about the fact that not just for that reason because honestly if they you know if Toei thinks that uh, they could make money off it they'd have a movie come out every month I mean if the, the, you know if, if the money's there I don't think they would care the problem is when can they even film the film especially when it you know does seem to be hard I did see some articles about some social distancing happening in both Super Sentai and Kamen Rider and some very interesting screenshots of how they've been uh, kind of setting up these shots to be six feet of 
part. And it's very interesting. I would definitely suggest checking it out if you have not been able to see some of these shots and how they've been compiled. And it's very interesting stuff. But when looking at the fact that they're trying to do that just for the shows themselves to keep that going, I mean, I don't know, you know, what's going to even happen with the film. So I don't think of it as, oh, it's going to be delayed because these are just coming out now. So Toei wants to space them out. I think it's just how are they even going to be able to film films so this might be the year where and you know some people definitely won't like this but this might be the year where we end up getting one of those um, very much like how we used to get uh, a film that is just a cut up version of an episode or maybe you know we did see some um, some directors cut versions of Kira Major I remember that happened with everything going on in the world right now and I don't know no that did not happen with Zero One we got some weird you know recappy thing with some very little new content but mostly recaps um, I, I do think that when it comes to, you know, these episodes or, well, you know, with uh, future films, we might just end up getting like a director's cut in theaters of, an, of a specific episode that's, you know, considered important to Toei. So I hope that doesn't happen. I'm just saying that with everything going on right now and, you know, if things are getting better in Japan... All right, I'm looking at this obviously from a U.S. perspective, but I am a little concerned uh, irregardless. So either way, though, as we're wrapping this one up, tell me what you think down below about what I've said about the uh, the future of these movies and also about these movies coming out in both December and also in spring 2021. So uh, quotes and quote. So I assume this movie's done. Uh, I hope they're still not working on it. I don't want the, you know there to be anything shut down and then the film is delayed even further. But you know, I, I do wonder if. Um, you know zero one was done earlier and then this one they're just trying to piece it together so either way tell me your thoughts down below are you a fan of these coming out do you want them to come out sooner or or would you rather just pretty much like me just go ah you know they come out when they come out what matters to me first and foremost is their safety so tell me what you think down below in the comment section we'd love to hear what you have to say about this